thousands of gamers arrived in San Francisco for the first in-person game developers conference in two years. One participant, Agora, is a platform that helps developers add voice and video, something that got a boost during the pandemic. When you're locked in your house, the last thing you wanted to do is just play a game by yourself. Everyone was struggling to connect. Everyone wanted to add that, that layer of social gaming to their application to help their, everyone escape, basically. Motion capture companies showed how they can display complex movements in real time, tools that can be used in the virtual worlds known as the metaverse. That's a place where in-world AI is helping to build the brains for virtual characters. Give a description to in-world and its AI engine generates a character that can interact with you. This key plus right VR haptic rig is amazing. You log into a new world and you may feel lonely because there are like not enough people uh, around to interact with as in real reality to have some characters that are, can fulfill different kind of roles like a barista or you know like just a person who like passes nearby or something like this. And so what we are solving is actually like adding this layer of virtual uh, population to, to, to the worlds. As more lifelike characters populate virtual worlds, companies like OG Life are building the connections between those worlds. This idea that you can do an in-memory swap uh, is what they call it. So uh, basically playing one game and it seamlessly move into another. That's the magic of what the metaverse is supposed to be bringing. Another emerging gaming trend is the NFT or non-fungible token, a digital asset. The Phantasma platform allows gamers to own those NFTs, for example, like a hammer used in a game. As you start to play that game a little bit further and, and increase the, the, you know, the value of that, of that, that hammer, it could then be uh, sold on, on marketplaces, very similar to the two aspects that are in John's game. If you have that powerful weapon and you want to bring it over to our game and use the weapon in game, even though it wasn't from our game originally, we would say we can use that NFT, we can power up your character with it. Also returning to GDC this year is the Alt-CTRL section, or Alternative Control. This is the area where game designers come up with interfaces that you've never thought of before. All right, let's go. Cowboy, cowboy. At Alt-CTRL, Kung Fu dummies and even ketchup bottles become controllers. It all goes to show that social gaming can still bring people together physically, even though it's trending in another direction. Mark New CGTN, San Francisco.